Good morning, kids. Good morning, Fawn. Good morning, Meatloaf. Ooh, nice morning stretch. Good kids. Good kids. Good morning, guys. It's uh, 6.30 in the morning right now. Um, I just put Taika to bed. So he woke up at about 5.45 and he was hungry, so I fed him. And then after I fed him, um, it's 6.30 now, and I had a chance to go back to bed, but since my uh, first meeting's at eight, I could have slept an extra 30 minutes. Oh, he's done. <laughs> and she's done. And she's also done. <laughs> Um, I could have slept an extra 30 minutes, but I think that would have just made me more drowsy if I went back to sleep. So I was like, you know what? I'll just take this time out to um, to just stay up uh, 30 minutes early or extra and then uh, get some work done on emails and stuff and kind of get a jump start on the day. And uh, I actually been like in waking up at five or six um, feeding Taika because it kind of helps me get up because you have to spend a good 30 minutes feeding them changing diapers sometimes even an hour and so by that time when you put him to bed and he's ready to sleep um you're already like wide awake because you've been doing so much so today is one of those days and uh, i got a pretty action-packed day today um today not only do i have my first meeting at eight which is on the feature film then later i'm meeting up with uh, nadim and evan to shoot a bunch of photos for the entire new barbell brigade launch the rebirth collection and then we're also going to visit the Fulfillment Center because we're going to have to film a CEO's corner there to talk about how orders go out and how everything is shipped and stuff like that. And then uh, we're all, I might also train today. I'll have to go back to the office and do a bunch of stuff. So uh, this whole day, what you're really going to see out of it, which is really cool and I'm excited about, is uh, you're going to see me after now because uh, I'm not going to take a shower. I don't want to wake up the family. But you're going to see me wear the entire new... Uh, Barbell Brigade collection available October 4th. So you're gonna see me wear that throughout the whole day. And at the end of it, Evan and Nadim are gonna cut together a really cool video of just a video only, pretty much like a montage with like cool visuals and audio. And I'll probably upload that uh, the next day. So you can see a more cooler version of without me talking all boring and all that stuff. So that's really dope. And then there's gonna be a ton of photos that come out and you guys are gonna see some behind the scenes of a CEO's corner on the Bartle Brigade channel. So, and, and I haven't even been to the Fulfillment Center because that's not even my job. Uh, Aaron and Marie, they usually take care of all that stuff. So this will be my first time, and Ren. So this will be my first time going there. So I'm pretty excited. I don't know if you could tell, but I have fur all over my face and head. And it's because my stupid ass put on this hoodie on Fawn last time to do a shoot or a meatloaf. And now there's all this fur all over it that didn't come off yet. And I didn't even know. So it's all up on the inside. Like, yeah, I did wash it, but I guess I didn't flip it inside out so I couldn't really wash it off. And so when I put it on at first this morning, like I'm half groggy, I was like, what, is, what are all these spider webs? Like, what the hell is going on? And I was like, is this Jill's hair? Like, did she wear it first? And I kept going like this. And after I went like this, like a thousand times, um, I was like, dude, what is it? I took it off and I see all this uh, dog hair on it. I'm like, all right, well, I gotta wear another sweater. So uh, I'm gonna grab a protein shake and uh, get ready to leave. We organized the fridge the other day and it looks pretty dope. Those are all the root beers, Cokes, Sprites, soda. Not saying that this is good and I only drink this occasionally. This is my real shit. And I also have my, uh, stocked up on my protein. So I'm gonna be on the diet. I told you I'm not gonna mess around. What am I doing? I need two proteins. I'm not gonna mess around. I gotta get lean, be a sexy, strong dad, make Tyka proud. All right, I'm gonna get on the road. See you guys later. I can't believe this happened the other day and I feel so bad because these are my brand, brand new wheels. Look, oh my God, I fucked up. So I was making a right turn and uh, I just wasn't paying attention. There's, uh, I'm the only one to blame. And I cut it too close and I scraped the curb and now I have curb rash. That's what it's supposed to look like. And I have this. Oh. So I gotta try to get it repaired because it looks ugly. It feels so bad. Like, look at these rims are so fucking dope. But I messed up. You gotta be careful, guys. You gotta be careful. Okay, now you can really see how much dog hair is on me. Look at this. The entire sweater had dog hair on it. 
I thought it was just the hood. It's the complete inside. No wonder I'm itching all over. What the fuck? I'm gonna go back inside and change shirts. This is ridiculous. I look like I've been resting with the dog all day. Here's a new change to the office. They just painted it this week. Doo -doo -doo -doo. See that crazy yellow? It's cool, huh? So what we were trying to do is um, brighten this place up. You know how I was talking about how like we're a comedy company, but our place looks more badass and cool than it does creative and like lighthearted. So we wanted to brighten it up and we hired a, a interior designer and she's been helping us out. And shout outs to Yuri Tag. She's the one that's been helping design this place. So this is just like one of the first steps, but I really think it brings in a lot of personality already. This is just the base layer. Later on, we're gonna put like art on the walls, I dress up the back, got to move the samurai over here just to paint this part. So this is one cool change. I think it looks pretty cool. It completely changes the feeling just with a little bit of yellow already. Woo. Casey, <laughs> can you tell me about the movie and the progress and how you feel about it? Uh, man, I, I feel like I just said, I, I already talked about this like not too long ago. It's like in the same state. Uh, all right, fine, Joe. Oh, yeah, Could so you tell me what, how do you? So we just finished our film meeting, and uh, we're always feeling good about it every single step of the way now, and uh, we're now looking into like shopping for like a distribution and stuff like that. So now it's kind of the business end, but uh, on the artist end, how do you feel about where the movie's at, and how do you feel about the future and success of it? Well, of course I'm gonna say I'm fucking happy as hell about this <laughs> because when we first started. Um, I think a lot of the gray area, like, oh, should we do what's popular? Should we do what the production company wants? All those things were kind of flooding our minds. And, you know, this is our first film, so we didn't know what was the right thing to do. But we all kind of came to this conclusion, like, what's the big deal? Let's do, let's do a concept that we love. Like, who cares if martial arts is you know, been done like a Western. Who cares if like Asian characters might not be the most mainstream thing to do? Who yeah. cares? Like, let's just do something that we want first and build a story around it. And I'm so happy that we did that instead of doing something like, well, this isn't gonna work because it's not popular to do this or whatever. It took us a long time because I think a lot of uh, the movies in the past Sometimes it will leak in like, oh, is it the most popular thing to do right now to do something like this or whatever? And yeah, it, it clouded our judgment. But I think now I'm really happy about this because it feels 100% genuine. And um, I, I can't wait to get it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This movie is like, if you guys like Kung Fu, I feel like this is 10 million times better and more beefier than Kung Fu. And what we worked on today specifically, I can't show you too close, but these are just some of the fighters that might show up. Like a MMA guy, a boxing guy, karate guy over there, BJJ, Wing Chun. Okay, I said too much. All right, see you guys later. <laughs> I'm driving home from the meeting now. I'm gonna meet up with uh, Edmund and Adim to start filming um, me wear all the pieces in the Barbell Brigade Rebirth collection. And I was just listening to Jamie Foxx and Joe Rogan on the podcast. And uh, there's a lot of truth. Like uh, one of the biggest points that I really liked was Jamie Foxx was talking about how because of social media, a lot of people's artistry are being tucked in now. And uh, what he was saying is like a lot of the greatest artists, they their art is great because they start off as crazy people. Like you have to be you have to think outside of the box in order to create outside of the box art, right? And so the stuff that people like Elvis Presley, Jimi Hendrix, or even the stuff that people did in the 80s and 90s, like Joe Rogan, like the type of lives that they led, uh, because there weren't anyone to kind of like scrutinize them, they were allowed to be who they are. Like Mike Tyson, for example, he was crazy. Like he would just go to the club and buy girls' cars. But now anyone that does that, it would become like this viral sensation and it would get scrutinized. And, and because of that, now people are being boxed in. And when people are being boxed in, the only people that are really going to be successful are boxed in type people, which means the art will be reflective of that and the art won't be very good. You need a crazy motherfucker like, like Bobby Lee, um, who's, who's just a crazy person. He's going to create great art because his brainwaves are firing above a normal person. 
and that's what we need to uh, create better art and so what we need to do as social media and everyone that's online is to just be more forgiving of what people are doing and know that everyone's an entertainer and I'm like dude that's a really really dope point because he was saying like even someone like Jordan like anyone 18 and over he is the greatest basketball player to ever live but to anyone 18 and under he's the cry face he's a crying face man you know and that's how he's been boxed in so it's very very insightful Look who's here! It's the happy puppies and Mr. Taika! Hey, Mr. Taika! Damn it, Milo! In my way! Go away! You're not recording. Oh, no, I'm not recording. How does it feel to have an Asian grandson? How do I feel? Yeah. She's no color. Does it, do you feel special? I feel, I feel special, blessed. Did you ever think when you were 15 years old you were going to have an Asian grandson? I didn't think I was going to make it to 16. Damn, you were that kind of a chola? I was never a chola. That is, you're a wild. I high school, I want you to know. You were a oh wild. Girl. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Did you smell his head? We gave him a bath yesterday. It still smells bad. Really? No. It smells skinny. Little butt. Look at his little butt. I'm relaxing. You getting work done, Mama? Briggy's staring at the squirrels outside. Fine. I'm gonna heat up some lunch and then I get ready for Evan Adim to come. Cool, Evan brought over the new collection. <laughs> We're putting it the other way. Take it back out. God, no, put it over here. God damn it. So what happened was he was taking stuff out and I didn't pull out the camera in time. So I told him, put it back in so I could take it back out. And now he's taking it all the way back. Are you gonna drive home? Come over here. God damn it. What are you having to do? You're making orange juice. Mm. Damn, you're so healthy. Mmm. Mmm, fresh oranges. I made fresh orange juice. Why'd you go with orange juice? Mmm. Yeah, <laughs> so morning Let's look at the collection. I don't even go with milk. <laughs> I don't even have it yet, to be honest. This is like fresh off the Coke press. Alright, here's uh, this one's right. Ooh, cool. This is a pink long sleeve. What's next? What's next? Bam. You'll see me wear this one. The shirt. And then the gray version of the shirt. This guy. And then the white long sleeve. Ooh, I like this one a lot. It's the Reaper. Oh, the hoodie. I like this a lot, too. It's not a hoodie. Oh, I like this hoodie a lot, too. <laughs> I like everything. And then... And then all the, the Geo stuff. Geos, but Ooh. She has more stuff. Like, you know, has Why? Why does she get more stuff? Because you're happy. The... Babe, you know how much stuff you're getting? You're getting a ton of stuff. You lucky. Lucky person! Oh, thank you. Just finished shooting the first portion. I'm wearing the Seraph hoodie right now. And I'm wearing it with camo pants. I have a black sh Did you open the door for me? I don't have a pants. <laughs> Thanks. And now I'm bringing the rest of the clothes as, as well as a change of pants to, uh, to our next location. You want your phone? Oh yeah, can you grab my phone? Yeah. The next location yeah, is... Uh, Oh, okay. Turn off. Yeah. And then the next location is fulfillment, right? Yeah. Okay. Do, so you, do you have anything in your shorts or no? Like wallet or anything? No, that's all downstairs. Awesome. What are you shooting, you freaking? Fall downstairs and die. We're done with the upstairs part, Ma Bear. Ma Bear, we're done with the upstairs part. Bye, Mr. Taika. Look at how sad he is. We got it. He looks happy. I know, because you have to Papa. Bye, cutie. See you later, Dad. Bye, puppy. He looks more and more like you every day. Bye, puppy. I'm trying not to bring too many pairs of shoes, because I already have my hands full. So I'm going to bring these guys, the NMDs. I think I'm going to bring the infrareds. I need just one more pair of shoes for variety. What should be... Should the next shoe be? Uh, maybe the next shoe should be something simple. So these two, 
uh, pretty colorful. Maybe something more neutral. I guess neutral. I could bring these lime ones, but now I'll bring these. I'll bring these. These are a little bit more neutral. Neutral looking. Yep, that works. You know what's pretty funny? I'm about to trade a shirt that I already have on for the exact same shirt. Except the one that I have on is washed already and this one's brand new so it's going to look way crisper and it hasn't uh, shrunk yet and since I'm in between sizes between a large and an XL a brand new larges fit me the best and then washed XLs fit me the best but what I have on is a washed large so it's a little bit more snug that I'm going to change uh, before we go into the fulfillment center because we're going to film a Barba Brigade uh, CEO's corner in there. So I'm at our fulfillment center and this is where we store all of our inventory and where we ship everything out of and it's this entire row. So any one of these boxes that I pull out, like for example, this is our yellow on a blue logo shirt. That's the old logo. Uh, we have same thing here, just a different size, triple XL. We got the foundry in white. We have the white on the gray. So we just have an entire stock of things on this entire row. We got the black on green logo. We have a ton of stuff. So um, just checking out to make sure everything is in stock, in place. We have a couple of these that we still gotta send out. But just pretty much checking up on everything because uh, what we are trying to do every single launch is to streamline it to the point where there's less and less problems and we're trying to knock everything down from like 48 hour troubleshooting to 24 hour to 12 hour and the customer service getting better and better and better. So just checking out to see where our rebrand stuff is. I mean our rebirth launch if everything is squared away like it's supposed to so that when October 4th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time hits everything is running smoothly and everyone can get their order as soon as fast as possible. Since I'm Asian, I had to stop by for a mandatory drink and boba break. And uh, we stumbled upon this place called Twinkle Brown Sugar. It's in Little Tokyo. It had like 900 reviews, all like four or four and a half stars. And I asked them uh, what their top drink is. They said that brown sugar milk tea. So that's what I ordered. I'm really excited to see what that tastes like. Moment of truth. I added grass jelly in mine and boba. Mm. Really good. Thank you for the recommendation. It's good. So I just got to the gym, and uh, this is the part where, in the cool visual video, you're not gonna see me change. But because this is the behind the scenes, I'm gonna change right here. And then Evan's gonna get me getting out of the car all cool guy like, like you see all the other uh, fitness people do it, getting out of the car and all of a sudden magically the clothes change. But um, so I think the next shirt I'm wearing is the white long sleeve. And what pants should I go with that? Which pants do you think I should go wear with it? I have the torn jeans. I have like a rust orange one and like a green pants. Uh, we can go with the rust ones. I think you should keep the same shoes on. Oh, I wanted to use the rust one for the black sweater. Can you just go no pants? Yeah. You can just do the, the white ones. Oh shit! Wow! Oh fuck, sorry! Oh. I'm just gonna throw these. Let me see. I have. Those are the pants. I have blue too. I have blue, green. Blue ones? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna wear the blue ones. And then what shoes should I wear? Should I wear these? Yeah. Maybe I'll wear those. Look at an awfully picture. How does the shirt look? Terrible. It looks good. Let me see, you can turn it around. It looks oh, it's, no, it's the white one. It's the white one, yeah. You're just everything's white. Hold on. What do you mean? Does it look like one of Silent Mike's box? Yeah. Silent Mike, if you're watching, fix your ISO. There it goes. Yeah. Can you just sit on top of the car and cry? We'll clickbait the picture. Like, I'm selling my car. What does this mean? 
getting rid of the car? Do one look like uh, more sad? Throw up, like you're throwing up. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna use that for your thumbnail? Yeah, let's give me the thumbnail. It's pretty original, I've never seen that before. At the gym now, I'm supposed to walk around and pretend like I'm inspecting stuff, seeing how things are doing, and then they're gonna get B roll and photos of me like looking at that, looking at this over there to look professional. This is how a photo shoot is. It's always just a model pretending like they're doing something, like looking into the sun, and then they take a picture. And for some reason it looks cool. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but it looks cool when the models do it, or if the models are like, like this, or they're about to kiss someone. And uh, so for some reason it turns out pretty cool. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just walking around, pretending like I'm doing things. And then they're gonna take pictures and video of me. And they'll turn it into something dope. Not like this thing. So for the next shot, uh, I'm supposed to look like I'm working at the gym. But since I am not involved in the gym that much anymore, Gio runs the gym now. I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna pretend like I am. But uh, Evan and Dean will make me look really cool. Now I'm wearing the pink Sarah long sleeve. And we're at the car wash. And uh, this is awesome because the car was dirty so I did need it to get washed and now we can double it for the shoot where I'm at the car wash getting stuff done. Uh, poor rim. Poor rim. I uh, scraped the curb. That's not bad. I know but it still hurts my feelings. Still, I like the little details on the shirt. That's a little BB and reflective. It's dope. I always love it when the car is freshly washed. Damn, this thing's gleaming. And the calipers are popping out all yellow looking dope. I'm gonna close this door real quick. Damn, this thing looks tight. I love the way it looks. It's all shiny. Look at that shiny ass paint. Ooh, the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully there's no rain this week. I have the worst look. I always get the car wash and then it rains like two days after. I'm like, son of a bitch. Time to uh, buy some meat. Oh, time to buy some meat so I can change to the next outfit. Just picked up some meat as well as some spinach for the grilling scene. And uh, I picked New York strip steak just because it's uh, right in between ribeye and sirloin in terms of fattiness but I don't really like sirloin because there's no fat, so there's not that much flavor in ribeye, although I love it to death. Uh, I am trying to be clean. So uh, for this next meal, even though for the scene, uh, it's for the scene, I'm gonna cut carbs out, and so no rice, I'm just gonna eat the spinach, and I'm gonna eat the steak. And uh, this one is with the bone in, and it's a thick cut, so it'll be pretty juicy. So although it is leaner, it'll be pretty damn juicy, I'm pretty happy. Just got home, freaking sweaty as hell. Every time I change clothes over and over, I always get really hot. So I'm bringing the clothes upstairs, the stuff that I don't need, so it could be out of the shot. I'm putting these guys away. I'm so excited to finally get these. A lot of the times people think that since I own the company, I get things super early. I do get it earlier than a lot of people, but it's only because um, I'm shooting with it. Like for today, because I'm shooting with this, I already put my sweat on it, I keep it. Uh, but I don't get things like hella, hella early. Because uh, I think we spend, I like, guess, business owners, you're you're trying to, like, push the business forward. And that's the goal. And the goal isn't to have, like, the coolest clothes all the time. So uh, I'm just really happy. I finally got the collection after planning the collection for, I think, like, three months. So happy. Looks so dope. This came out really good. I haven't cooked the New York steak in a long time. But it came out really juicy. Really peppery. And there's a lot of like smokiness from the grill. So I'm pretty happy. And this might just be my new go-to like, I guess cheat meat. Because I can't really do sirloin. And I love ribeye, but I can't probably have ribeye until I'm um, 180 something. So I'll just go with this for now. Now it's time for me to wear this light blue shirt. 
and I have to whisper because uh, Taika's sleeping. And for a light blue shirt, I'm gonna be walking the dogs. So it's kind of like coming to the end of, uh, of my day. And then finally, I'm gonna be wearing the Rebirth hoodie holding Mr. Baby Taika, and that would have been the entire collection. Let's see how Mr. Taika's doing right now. Now walking these guys in the blue shirt. And these guys are so alert because there's these dogs that are walking by across the street over there and they end up going out. So they're still super alert and focused on those guys. Even Fawn's other ears standing up. Little cuties. I love Meatloaf's back. He looks so cute, looks like a little statue. Oh, his little tail. Almost healing. Freaking thick guy. This guy's so big. Milo's taller than Evan standing up or sitting down. <laughs> Cute boy. Cute Briggy. Cute funny. 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 Good girl. Last but not least, Taika sleeping. Uh, but that's not what I was going to say. What I was going to say is, uh, last but not least, the outfit for the day is the Rebirth hoodie. And this is probably one of our most hardcore pieces. It has the full skull on the back. And I'm going to be watching him while he films me. And that's it. That's pretty much uh, every single outfit for the day. The entire Autumn Winter 2017 Rebirth collection. And uh, today was the funny kind of behind the scenes version of it. And uh, tomorrow, or well not tomorrow, but you'll see the more cool uh, stuff. So um, this whole collection drops October 4th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And make sure you uh, go there because the last couple of launches of this year, everything was blowing out like crazy. So if you want to get yours, make sure that you're there October 4th, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If we all sell out, we are going to restock, but it takes a minute. So cool. See you guys next time. Peace.